Hello everyone. We are going on our normal drive this morning. This video is going to be a little bit different. As you can tell by the title, it is essentially around the button release of um, full self driving. Um, this morning, uh, a lot of people woke up to an update on their car and got the button. And I just kind of wanted to give a, just make this video kind of a little talk video. It's a little bit different format. Uh, I do want your feedback down below. Uh, we want it. I'm uh, one thing I will improve on in the future is trying to get a camera of my face. You can see it up here. <laughs> um, for at least the rear view mirror. Um, but uh, ultimately, I have my old phone up here with some notes, um, and I'm gonna try and read those off essentially. But um, and we'll just kind of talk. So let's see, run through those. So again, everything in this video is my opinion. It isn't really anything direct from Tesla. It's just based on my observations with the program and other people's observations. I kind of formulated like my own thought process here. Let's see how it does right here. If it's gonna miss it this time. Hey, whoa! It turned the blinker on. Look at that. That's really good. I don't know what tells it to turn blinkers on, but that was the first time I think it's ever turned the blinker on there. So, such an interesting pattern. So, there's nobody in my lane. We'll see how it goes. If it swerves, I'm going to disengage. Tomorrow morning is button day, and this video is probably going to come out this afternoon. Yep, it swerved because it waited too long. So hopefully tomorrow, 10.1, we'll fix that. We're gonna come up here, and we're gonna do a bunch of driving around Asheville, and that's my plan for tomorrow. So anyway, so, again, um, let's go down the list. The, the beta release, if you get it, does not make your car an autonomous car. It does make it an awesome feature to have and a driver assistance feature, but it does not make it an autonomous car. At least not yet um, whether or not you believe the hardware is capable I do um, to a certain extent I think we will have level 3 with the current hardware I think that's very doable a level 4 is the question mark whether or not you need more processing power I'm not gonna even try to claim that I know for sure any of that no one if you see anything on Twitter any of that crap no one can tell you that this hardware is guaranteed to do level 4 this, actually a decent chance that it requires the new hardware for computer to do level four self-driving and i personally do not think this car will do level five because that requires driving in inclement conditions like heavy snow and stuff and the cameras can't clear themselves of mud like it can't even drive on a dirt road for instance in periods of time because the cameras get covered in fuel shout out the dirty tesla uh, he's well aware of the dirty camera issue but uh, again, for me, I'm totally fine with level four. It doesn't need to do level five. Uh, my future Cybertruck, I do want to do level five. So I hope it can do that. Um, so my expectations of the button. So I'm kind of, um, obviously this is a little bit late. I meant to do this video early this week. Um, work kind of got in my way. So that never happened. Uh, so my expectations of the button were that it needed a new update. I was right about that. Uh, everyone downloaded a new update this morning to get said button up, button press on the menu. It's still doing the the orange, the thinks the signs are orange or yellow lights. But yeah, everyone needed a new update this morning to get the button. My friend um, got it, uh, so he's in the trial period right now, seven days from now. If he has good driving data, he'll get it. Uh, and so my other thought process was not many people are going to get it. It does seem like almost everyone who has full self-driving is getting the, the new update for the beta button. That does seem evident that that's what's happening. Also turns out, so, um, so my thought process here is that at the end of seven days, initially not everyone is going to get the beta. Obviously because some people aren't going to drive well, they're not going to get it. They're probably only going to release the top of the top people who use autopilot all the time, who have best driving data, who don't speed too much, who don't have, do brake too much. They're probably going to be cautious, give those people out, maybe then wait another week and 
keep on adding more people to the program. Um, now, that might not be the case. They might just, everyone who has a 90 plus, hey, you got an A, you, or 93 plus, or whatever score, however they score it, um, will get the beta program. They'll get into it, and here we go. That being said, I'm wondering how that's going to affect my videos. If I'm going to have to be on a separate branch so we get the new features, like I'm getting 10.1 tomorrow, according to Elon. And so maybe that, you know, has uh, new features on it. Uh, well, I'm supposed to have new features. Maybe I will be ahead one week of the public release in terms of what we get in, in the beta. I'm not sure, but um, we'll see. Maybe everyone gets it. So that might just kind of kill out this YouTube channel. Uh, if everyone has the videos, I mean, you tell me down below, would you be interested in still seeing my observations on how the car drives? I'll still make the videos, but probably not as often if everyone has it, because, you know, everyone's going to start making videos, so it's just kind of, it's not as, um, unique, if you will, you know? Um, but I definitely can find certain ways, to do my certain tests, like the crazy hill test you saw this morning, that type of stuff. But, um, yeah, those are my opinions there, so... Let's see. Again, yeah, just um, when you get the button, you just gotta make sure you're, you're driving safe. It shows you all the, it shows in real time your score level and all that stuff. Obviously, I already have the beta, so I, I'm not gonna see what the what it does, um, all that stuff. Um, okay. And so the thing is, what the effect when you have the beta? Well, you've seen my videos. I hope you know what to expect. Um, never get complacent. That's the big one. That's why I'd say one thing: never get complacent. Uh, this happened to me a couple times, and it's caught me off guard. Obviously, nothing bad has happened, but there's always that chance you start getting like, "Well, this is really good." And you just kind of sit back and start relaxing a little bit, and like, and then all of a sudden it swerves over a lane. I'm like, "What just happened?" Um, and you just got to always like, then you realize, oh, the lane lines change or something along those lines. So it's just like, you got to always pay attention that the car is not going to do something odd. Like right here, it could just swerve over to the right all of a sudden. Like, it's not, it shouldn't do that. No one ever would. And there's a car further back behind me right here. But it shouldn't ever do that. Like right here, but in the past, because these lane lines aren't good, it has swerved over to the right lane. But now with this new version, it sees the lane lines that aren't actually painted there so it's doing great um, let me see so if you have a car that has radar like my car radar will now be disabled with full self-driving beta and you'll only be able to go 80 mile an hour max on the highway which where I am is to, not a problem because the max speed limit here is well I, okay you can get the 70 mile an hour if you go down um, oh, the speed limit was wrong you can get 70 mile an hour uh, if you go down the mountain, um, let's see, this is gonna mess up. There's a car. Okay, the car's gonna go past me. It needs to slow down. See, the problem is. Okay, yep, it messed up there. It just didn't, it, it was trying to ride beside that car, it like, needs to just slow down and get over or be aggressive and get around. That's what I'm hoping improves with these next updates is that it gets more aggressive. Um, yeah, this video is just going to be me talking. It's not much less about the route because we've already done this route, essentially, except for this turn right here. We've already done this route. It's me talking. Um, yeah, I fully expect not to have a lot of likes on this video, but hey, if, um, if it does, I will be glad to do these type of videos in the future. Um, this is going to be the first part of it. I'm going to keep on talking on the next part of it once we get to our next destination. destination Everyone back from this. Um, I have to wait until navigation fixes itself. But the rest of this video, we're going to talk about um, what to expect as we started hinting on. Um, essentially, always always expect the car to mess up on any situation like always expect the worst and be pleasantly surprised when it does great like right there it braked because i thought that car was coming in my lane always expect always have a hand on the wheel 
you'll be surprised how quickly it can turn the wheel and then you're going into a curb. I fortunately have not had that problem, but I know several beta testers have been, have their wheels curved because it goes onto the side of a curb. Like right here, this is very fast. Okay, always, always be aware, always think ahead. Like up here, I know it's gonna get in the wrong lane. You'll start getting used to certain certain routes you take and you'll get used to what the car does on certain situations. Important, I'm gonna repeat this over and over again, never get complacent. Until it is out of beta, it is always a good chance of making a mistake. And even out of beta, it, there will be a statistical chance that it could make a mistake. Not likely, but could. I'm not sure what's going on here. It slowed for that truck right there, and now it's slowing for this light, and it should have slowed a little bit sooner, to be honest. A little bit smoother. But you'll you'll notice things like this. You'll you'll get used to how the car behaves, and you'll get used to it. At first, it's a little bit um, mixed emotion experience. So like this is incredible, and then like all of a sudden like like it turns into wrong lane, or you know it does something weird, and it's like okay, well, then, yeah. You just always gotta pay attention. Always gotta be vigilant. And so, last but not least, how can you help? I'm sure everyone here wants to know how they can help um, and train the system to be its best. And uh, to do that, essentially, what we've been told is just drive. Drive how you normally would. If you're not going to make a lane change uh, in a certain area, don't let the car do it. If you aren't going to swerve around in a lane, don't let the car do it. It's fun to let it try, you know, occasionally. Just go ahead and let it try and let it do its thing so you get the idea of what the car is doing. But most of your drives shouldn't do that. Like here, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the blinker on as if it's in this lane, which it shouldn't be in my opinion, it should have gotten over, then it needs to go ahead and turn its blinker on and get out of that lane as soon as possible before the car behind me is speeding up about to pass me. And then it's about to, you know, uh, get in my way and it cause potentially cause an accident. Uh, places right here, we got railroad tracks. We need to make sure we train the car. I'm manually slowing the car down because I know the railroad tracks are here. Eventually, it's going to have the logic, hey, it sees railroad tracks. Slow down. Like, that was good. That was a good speed to go over this because that's what I slowed it down to. Now we can go back up to the speed limit. And for me, I have a lot of curves being in the mountains. You want to be able to go around the curves uh, at a good speed. Like here, it doesn't need to slow down. Like I'm pushing the accelerator to keep it going around the curves at a good speed. It just doesn't, it doesn't need to slow down so much here. And perhaps that's a comfort, le comfort level based on each individual person. It's hard to say. I don't know, well, we speculate if everyone's gonna get this camera button up here. Um, but if you do, it really should be reserved to more serious issues and like don't be like oh the car went like, like too fast or something in a certain area I'm like no it needs to be like the car went over the yellow line and was about to head on collision that's a camera button press those are rare but do happen now uh, they still happen and you always got to be vigilant it will happen for probably a decent while um, probably at least over the next year, you're still going to see incidents like that if until the train, until it gets more data and you can train up. So those are things you got to look for. Also, if you don't have cell signal or good cell signal, like I only have one bar right here, you do not have good cell signal, you've got to limit the amount of camera presses you do. My understanding is about five. If you had no cell signal, you can store about five uh, before it goes to your Wi-Fi and has to upload a bunch of data. Do make sure your car is connected to your Wi-Fi, of course. It will download updates over the LTE and will send data over LTE. This guy cut that corner way too closely. Um, but um, you should uh, be wary of the amount of data it's going. Uh, do keep in mind, it can also potentially affect your streaming music. Uh, if you press it too much and it's uploading too much, it will occasionally cause the music to skip out. That's pretty rare, but can't happen. Uh, where are we? I think uh, I think that's mostly it. Oh yeah, well, assuming you do all that and you're in the beta and you're helping out, you can get booted. 
don't use your cell phone while you're using the beta. I mean, if you have to look up a quick direction, everyone doesn't do that. But like, don't just like, oh, I'm gonna text and drive the whole time. No, you. They will know. You have to agree to use this camera up here, and they will. They you will get booted out. As simple as that. It's as simple as that. You're not gonna get allowed to use the beta if you're just gonna abuse it like that. And you might not get it for a long time if you abuse it. So always be wary. Always be a safe driver. Don't drink and drive, text and drive, any of the stupid crap you could possibly do while driving. You have got to pay attention at all times and not and not let the car screw up. You are there to help train the car and to help experience the future. And let's see. Uh, final, final bits here. Uh, it's exciting that everyone here is about to get into the beta program. It has been a long time coming. Uh, obviously, I um, was really excited to get in the beta last year. I think it was just kind of luck. It's interesting that truck pulled out in front of me. Um, and the car handled it great. But you got to pay attention to those things. You really, really got to pay attention to those things. Uh, as always, be vigilant. Never get complacent never get complacent and so like always i'm going to turn in right here they go park but um again i hope everyone uh enjoyed this video i hope you have not gotten too bored with my rambling here and you have learned something now i hope you can appreciate the what the beta is able to do once you have it and i hope oh, you have it soon if you have any questions to me about the beta, about what I can talk about, about my experiences, I would love to hear them down below. Uh, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a share, a like. And uh, if you really want to watch my content continuously, I would really appreciate you go ahead and subscribing as well. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, anyone. Thanks. Bye.